this is castle just up there on the right um, I'm in Mead and I'm in a place called Trim that's Trim Castle uh, this castle was built in 1173 it took about 30 years to build for the De Lacy family and it's the largest Norman castle in Ireland and additions were added to this castle throughout time particularly to the structure in the 13th century Oh, you know, I'd love to fire this thing, just light the fuse and just feel the power, the force of a fire. Actually, you know what? Um, I probably wouldn't shoot it when my bike is in the way. Yeah, no, I won't be firing it today anyway. I'll leave it for another day. Um, yeah, so that's the second line of defense, that wall. Um, the, the first line of the defense would be the, the moat on the outside, which you see here. This is the River Boyne. Now, this is the main transport system uh, around the time, or even before. It goes back way to the Stone Age. And um, so, although the location is 25 miles from the Irish Sea, the area was extremely accessible uh, due to this River Boyne. There's structures all over this place. It's pretty impressive. And um, the ownership of the castle would pass through families over time. It, even to Cromwell in the 16th century, to Wellesley family, as in Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington, who became Prime Minister. It even landed in the Plunkett family. Now I have another video of Oliver Plunkett. I'll put a link at the end of this video and also in the description, so check out that video after this one, it's pretty interesting. Now castles are cool. They're not as cool as a jumping castle, but they're pretty cool. And of course we've got cats, you know, cats wrecking my shots, get out of my way. I hate cats. But YouTube actually likes cats, so perhaps it's probably a good idea that I include this in the video. Um, yeah, there he is. Inside the castle you can kind of see a structure going up diagonally up there. And that would have been the original end to where the roof was from the original. But it, it expanded over time, so uh, whoever uh, had the castle afterwards would have built it upwards. Now, a lot of shots would have been in the film Braveheart, so this castle would have been dominant in that film. Um, this here in the room that we're standing in now at the moment, this was the film, if you remember a scene where the king threw out this guy from the window. That's the actual window right there. Uh, there's a fireplace, only one fireplace in the building which is very central and um, there would have been a wooden floor and there would have been a metal grate around the fireplace uh, just would have been just to prevent any fear of the, the castle actually taking fire. This would have, been, would have been a religious room so any religious waste uh, would have had its own disposal uh, process which would have been separate from the other disposals in the, in the household. This is the original plaster from the 11th or 12th century rather. So that's kind of really cool how old it is. There's a lot of square holes in the wall. These would have been uh, wooden beams that would have stretched across. So you can kind of get an idea of where the floor and the roof were. Kind of brings you back to the past. Um, this is the winding staircase. The staircase always winds upwards clockwise as the fence. Each step would, wouldn't be the same to be higher or lower. To, uh, to confuse the enemy, so it's just a defense. On the, on the roof, it's a spectacular view up here. Um, it, that, that canvas wouldn't have been there, that's just to keep it dry today. But um, over here, you can see the River Boyne. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, the views are amazing, especially if you catch this on a sunny day. Um, That's the entrance where I came in. Actually, you can see my bike over there. Uh, it's good to know no one's messing around with it, peace of mind. But that's it, yeah, I hope you uh, like these videos. Um, I really recommend it, it's like four euro entry or something like that, it's really, really worth it. Um, definitely come check it out, it's Trim Castle. So I hope you liked watching the videos. Um, here's the Oliver Plunkett uh, link that I told you to check out, do check it out, and if you don't, if you haven't already liked the video, at least subscribe or, or share it, I'd really appreciate that and thank you for watching.